I'm going to try keeping this one fairly brief. There isn't a great deal to talk about with this. I just like talking about it at the end of the day. It is just the Grammys. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, Drake put it well last year, actually, where he said it's an opinion-based sport. It's all based on opinions. There's no facts in art or music, film, you know, all that kind of stuff. There's no facts, really. It's just all down to your own perspective and your own opinion. It's not like a sport where you are the best and you end up getting a trophy at the end because you literally were the best the whole way through. Um, it's just people might like some things more than someone else. I like some things more than other people. You know, it's, it's, it's not a big deal. I try not to get angry at the Grammys anymore. Why didn't the good things get nominated? Where's the indie music? Billie Eilish walking away with that many awards. Five, I think it was. The big four as well. The big unthinkable four where it's um, the album of the year, record of the year, song of the year, and best new artist. I think this is something that rarely happens at the Grammys. Uh, it definitely hasn't happened in a very long time, so it's a really impressive feat whenever an artist manages to do that. Even without that, walking away with five is very impressive anyway. I know Bruno Mars walked away with a lot in the year that he won best album, and last year, did anyone walk away with a lot last year? Uh, uh, maybe, I, no actually I don't think there were, yeah, I mean, I mean. What I liked about some of the big categories this year was that there weren't really any horrible wins. Like you could kind of justify it either end of like, well, you know, maybe that wasn't the, the one I would go for, but I'm not, I'm not mad at it. And Billie Eilish was very much that the whole way through, I think, the entire competition. It was just like, yeah, not my favourite there but I think it, there's a reason as to why she is winning these ones. I was positive towards her album. I like Bad Guy a lot. I like Bury a Friend a lot. Like that album had some great tracks, but I just don't know if she really needed to win Album of the Year, Song of the Year, and Record of the Year. Best New Artist definitely makes sense, and probably Album of the Year too. I would say that was a toss-up between her and Lana Del Rey. For me personally, like those two were the ones I liked the most. Uh, the ones that I actually liked at all, to be honest, most of those albums were pretty mediocre to me, but those were the two that I was like, yeah, I moderately, mildly like these ones. But to win Song of the Year and Record of the Year just kind of defeats the point of both of those awards. I think, uh, you know, if you're gonna have two, uh, give Record of the Year like to the popular song, which makes sense. It's Billie Eilish, Bad Guy was huge. I can't really argue with that. But then to give it Song of the Year too is just kind of like, eh, do we need, did we need to do that? It could have gone to Taylor Swift for Lover. I think that's an even better song, honestly. And uh, it would have been kind of cool to see someone else win instead of one person dominate the whole night. Like when Bruno Mars just won uh, all the awards and he won like ridiculous ones too. There was, I think he won uh, Best Engineered Album. I'm sure he won that and he was up against Perfume Genius which just had immaculate engineering. Like there's no way you could justify <laughs> Bruno Mars beating Perfume Genius in that category. You could justify the other ones, but not that one. I'm not advocating for like music award communism and like sharing out every award equally, because that's just ridiculous and stupid. But I just kind of like the way the Oscars do it in this regard, where like you'll have the same films crop up in most of the categories. Like this year, it's the same, like Little Women, uh, Joker, uh, The Irishman, uh, Parasite, yeah, Parasite's got quite a few awards. Like they're all cropping up in the same categories, but the way the Oscars do it is that not every uh, category will be dominated by the same film, whereas the Grammys aren't like that. They just kind of get one fixation and then that just wins everything. But some of the other awards I think throughout the night were just so good. Like seeing Anderson Pack walk away with two awards was so good to me. Like I didn't think he'd win either, even though I, I said in my prediction video, um, or my thoughts video that I, I personally felt he needed to win both because he was just by far the best in both categories But I didn't think he was going to and the fact that he did I thought was great Especially considering last year he had to share an award. That was just really silly Maybe that's why he won two this year. Maybe they thought ah, we shouldn't have never do that Like we'll never do that again Let's make up for the fact that we made him do that last year and give him two of his own awards. Maybe I don't know 
21 Savage won with his track a lot, which I think is a pretty solid track. It gets a bit repetitive, but I'm kind of happy to see 21 take an award. Especially, again, it was another one of those categories where I just looked through them and most of the picks were just so meh. I'm not mad at Tyler winning best rap album, even though, you know, the whole debate about it being rap or not is, pardon me, getting a bit tired, but I still don't think it's really a rap album. And even when you look at the rest of the albums in that field, it was pretty slim. I mean, if I were to pick one, I would have said 21 Savage again, but it going to Tyler was actually kind of cool. Best dance? Best dance is going to Chemical Brothers twice. They got two. It's sort of like a little bit of a vindication win for me because it's like, ah, oh, yeah, I was saying all year how good that album was, and like at least somewhere it's being recognised. Uh, but again, that's kind of silly because it is just the Grammys; it's not a big deal. But you know, we we celebrate these little wins. You know, Old Town Road took away one award as well. I think that's a, a good award to win. Uh, it was like the best duo performance song. Lady Gaga won in one of the Star Is Born things. Of course, if it's involving a Star Is Born, it was gonna win, wasn't it? But yeah, that's about as much as I can say. Um, not really much else I can really comment on, I think. Uh, alternative album going to <laughs> Vampire Weekend's a bit funny, because it wasn't really that alternative, but their categorizations are never really on point anyway. Lizzo won that award for Truth Hurts. Thought she was going to walk away with more than that, though, I will say. Um, I don't know what else really like she deserved to win, because I don't think that's really her best song. Um, I, 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 I don't know, I don't know, I've never liked that song really. I think she has better songs than that one, but I see why that was like the one that got picked. It was a huge song in 2019. It just probably for me wasn't her best one. So yeah, some pretty cool wins overall. It was just a Grammys evening um, that showed that there's, you know, some improvements from previous years. I know I was a bit negative about Billie Eilish at the beginning, but you know, when you think about some of the previous winners, like the past 10 years, I certainly can't get that mad at Billie Eilish when we've seen uh, friggin' Mumford and Sons win, or that Beck album, you know, not really a fan of Beck, and he won that award, like, you know, the ones like that that are just a bit like, really? But Billie Eilish has a lot of potential and she has a lot of growth to come, I think, in a few years, she'll definitely be starting to, to rise up and mature and make even better music than what she's doing now. At least what I, that's what I want from her, and I think that's what we potentially can get, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, it's actually kind of cool to see someone so young you know, win these awards. It's pretty much representing today's musical climate where like you just have so many young people coming through and it's not like boy bands or girl bands, you know, like, you know, like, kind of like those teen bands breaking through when they're like 16, 17, 18. Uh, no, it's like individual artists that are just breaking through and they're barely passing like 21 years old. Little Nas X is another example of that. It's just cool to see. Not that it never happened before, but it certainly feels more common now to see a breakout artist below the age of 21. It seems to be happening way, 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 way more regularly, which I think is cool. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of the Grammys. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.